Granada Bowl here in Livermore opened for the first time about an hour and a half ago after this shooting. Now the victim was a dreamer who had just started his own business. It was supposed to be a fun night bowling with friends, but 28-year-old Antonio Vargas was shot and killed and his friend wounded when gunfire rang out at Granada Bowl in Livermore. Livermore police are now looking for 27-year-old Roger Aleman Garcia, a convicted felon with an extensive criminal history. Police say he opened fire during an argument at the bowling alley's bar at about 6 Saturday evening. Vargas was killed and one of his friends was hurt. The suspect also ended up injuring one of his own friends. Through a Spanish interpreter, Jose Antonio Vargas said he's heartbroken about losing his only child, but he said he bears no ill will against the suspect. He feels almost a sense of uh, compassion and that at the end of the day, he's going to be the one paying for his actions. His son came to the U.S. when he was three years old, a proud dreamer. They brought him over at a young age and uh, he was a DACA recipient. And just like a lot of other dreamers, they wanted to own their own business. So that's why him and his friend, they both started the, the carpet cleaning. One of the victim's carpet cleaning vans sits outside the family's home. He had started the company several months ago and was hoping to buy a house. His grieving family is now collecting donations to bury him in his native Mexico. The bowling alley reopened for the first time Monday afternoon after the shooting, which sent families running for cover. An eight-year-old girl at a birthday party took cover in a garage, and her panicked family couldn't find her at first. Now, friends and loved ones have stopped by this makeshift memorial that's still outside the bowling alley. I have learned that the shooting was caught on surveillance video. The suspect is a parolee who should be considered armed and dangerous, and anyone who knows where he is should contact Livermore Police. Reporting live in Livermore, Henry Lee, KTVU, Fox 2 News. And Henry